Parker. Uh, all right, so welcome back to the uh, Nerd Level Seminar. Um, <laughs> we'll be having uh, Eric Pista talking about or giving a description of the special fiber of uh, the Nerd Model. Yes. Um, so my talk will be most will be about two things: the special fiber of the Nerd Model and the component group. So um, I want to refer very often to this setup that we fixed throughout the talk, and. We will let R be a, um, a, a DVR, S will be spec of R, and then of course we'll have K field fractions of R and little k the residue field. And I will have x over s always be a flat proper uh, curve, which will be regular. And um, the uh, generic fiber of x will be geometrically irreducible. Okay, then a bit more notation. We'll, uh, we'll write J of K for the Jacobian of J uh, well, maybe it should be consistent this for a generic fiber, and we'll write Xi. Let's take R of them, will be the irreducible component uh, of the special fiber. And DI will be the multiplicity of XI. Special fiber. I should take care not to let I accidentally decay at some point. And EI will be the geometric multiplicity. Um, maybe this doesn't make sense. Um, that this is over the base field and over the algebraic closure another color and um, maybe over the algebraic closure I noticed that each of these maybe has to to reduce uh, to, uh, it's not, no, no longer reduced but also the other one but maybe the other, yeah. yeah, that's why I was confused because I, 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 I write the I here say, suggesting that this should depend on I, but yeah. maybe it seems, to, it seems to be constant. No. Yeah. Oh, no, because yeah, e, E1 is now 4. Yeah, yeah, okay, sure. E1 is 4, yeah. Yeah, and sure. uh, E2 is uh, 2. But yeah. so with the structure, yeah. there's a little yeah. components. Uh, with the reduced structure over. Uh, yes, so I maybe I should put reduced here. And you mean that? Does that change the picture? No. 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 That's no. what you That's draw the is the fiber. Yeah, sure. No. Yes. So. And this geometric multiplicity is. But I also want to say this delta i to be the product, and now I don't know, no, no longer. Uh, know if that's a sensible thing to do. Oh, sorry. Uh, so 
just to go back, so di, this is like, if t is the uniformized rate of my equation, yes. di is like the order of vanishing of t along the divisor xi. Is that right? Sorry, if t what? is the uniformizer. I guess I'm asking what di and ei are. Is it? Yes, then, but, and then you were saying that di is the order of vanishing of t along xi, maybe? The valuation of t and the generic point of yeah. xi. Yeah, exactly. I guess so, yeah. Uh, and I e guess I yes. What is EI then? Question. No, I so so I, I, I think it's this. You have you have this XI over K residue field, and then you base change it to K bar. Yes. Then at its generic point, it, that local ring has a length, and that is the EI. Okay, so it, right. it has to do with inseparable extensions, right? But what it, what the xi is a scheme yes. over k. It, and it, nobody says that it should happen that after base extension to k bar, it, the result is still reduced. Or irreducible. Reduced. But it, also it is a multiplicity. Also yeah, it could also split in multiple things. So the claim is that it, like, it they are all the same, because right. that is a Galois right. thing. Yeah. yeah, and then you pick one of them, and then you take yeah. the... Yeah. Well, all of them have the same. So, yeah. so it's uh, and it's the length of the loop. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, But now, in the example, I want to see what these are, and I'm not sure which. If I if I've got them correct now. So, from the example, this looks that to be this is two and this is four, right? Mm, maybe two. No, no two. I think that. The That's EI the is always a power of P. Yeah. And P is the residue yes. characteristic. So and, and actually the delta I oh, is time. maybe the, the amount of no potents that you see in the special at the special fiber over K bar. Yeah. I, 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 I I'm not sure if I if this is what I want and if I got get this wrong I'll r run into trouble like the whole lecture. But then, um, then we will so make it correct. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I, mean, I think the EI may be a tricky thing to draw in a picture somehow, right? Right. It's sort of like a symbol. Yeah. Okay. So let's, 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 let's assume I got this correct. I'll take a break to see if that's indeed true. And but okay. but it is always a good idea to express these things simply as 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 uh, length length of yes, the number. Yes, I agree. Then one would be. Then you know what you talk about. Yes. Yeah. Does any of these numbers see the constant field extension? Yes, uh, so if there is one. Well, there doesn't have yeah, to be so one, but it's the uh, little uh, ei. That the yes. if you if you if your the constant yes. field of xi is an inseparable extension. But this should be a power. Does it also see it? No, it doesn't then see that. That, okay. that will just break up yeah. into several yeah. components. Okay, that's correct. Yeah. Um, so I guess if you do some some separable extension, then you see that in the AI. Inseparable, right? Yeah. You know? In separable. In separable, oh, in sure, because that's why the, why the, why the power uh, shows up. Yes. Okay. Great. We haven't done anything, and we've lost a lot of time already. Um, well, anyway, from uh, the previous talks, uh, we know that this JK has a neuron model, and so we will call that J. Um, okay, and what we want is to study the special fiber of that, um, and uh, so we'll do we'll do two things. We'll study the identity component. And we will study the component group. Okay. So I need a, a few results from intersection theory, and um, this is quite nice because we can use it because R is dimension one and X over like S has relative dimension one again. So 
one might think we're, we're, we're studying curves, but on the other hand, we're also sort of studying surfaces, and therefore we get intersection theory on divisors. Can I ask something? Why yes. do you want to look at JR modulo J0 of R? Because VLR gives results for those. Oh, okay. <laughs> to ask me to talk about it. Okay. But I guess um, uh, the reason is that um, if you know something about the, 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 the quotient and um, the special, uh, sorry, the identity component, the special fiber, you can, you should be able to construct a lot of information about J. Yeah, but my point is more, why, why only the R points, the quotient on the R points? Oh, why see. not just J modulo J naught? That's a good question. Um, yeah. Maybe that would be better. Um, I'm not sure how much can be said. Um, For the points of transposition? Yeah. Yes, oh, yeah. yeah. Ac actually, actually, we will study this mode, this, um, in the case that R is strictly Okay. That's just the key points of the uh, because the uh, uh, group. Is that because mm. no. no, because why should the k points of the quotient be the quotient of the k point? Then no, that's not clear at all. I mean, it's only oh, if it's really yeah. and then it's separately closed. So, but things it is a smooth. The J is smooth. Yeah, so actually, but it seems to me there is no need k points of J zero lead to. R points of J zero. Yeah, yeah, the points yeah. Of J zero. yeah, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in this case, yeah, strictly and simply. So, so it is the same as as, as the, the the little k points of phi, right? And the phi is this quotient. J by J. So you you saying this is this the is same phi? Yeah, as J mod J naught, and then of k, little k. And it's okay. Well, or R, whatever you like. They're the same. Yeah. Yes, that's the same, right? That's the point of the the model. Then being a sound really yeah. right. yeah. um, Okay, so I won't give for for the little bit of intersection theory. I won't give um, uh, any real definitions, but I'll just give some intuit intuition and um, one or two important remarks. So, if I have two curves. Um, so these are curves, and this is the surface. And uh, suppose that they are different, then very intuitively I could count the number of intersection points, and I, I will do that with multiplicity. And what I what I would want is that if that this this should be what I call the intersection between those two curves. Um, but I want this intersection to want to want to be a pairing on the um, so I want to extend it. That should be a pairing on the whole group of divisors. Um, so I should also know what, say, C1 intersect C1 is. Um, and as I said, I won't give the definition, but it's important to note that this need not be non-negative. It could be negative, yes. Or um, negative. <laughs> sorry? Or not negative. It could also be non-negative, sure. Uh, if I take if I take B2 and I take two lines, then it intersects. So there, there. If I take a line twice, the self-intersection is going to be one. And the reason why I just very quickly change my language between two lines and the same line twice is the following remark. Um, that the intersection pairing only depends on the classes 
of C1 and C2 uh, in the big guy. Okay. Um, oh, and an example where the self intersection can be negative is, is in Raymond's talk. We saw these exceptional curves having self intersection uh, minus some field extension degree. Uh, for an example of that, if you take B2 and you blow up a point, then the uh, transform of that will self intersection minus 1. Okay? And uh, another remark is that um, the special fiber where I'm in this case, the class of it in x of x, x of x, x um, that is actually uh, zero, and therefore, if I take any um, divisor d uh, in x, then the intersection between d Is well, that's not true. Oh uh, no! This is this has to be this has has to have support in KX. Ah, okay. Um, with support in KX. In XK, yeah. XK, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes. Then 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 this is true. And um, also. Um, this is the sum over i because it's a variance, it's set linear d with all the uh, components. Because when you did S, your surface, your surface was a projective surface, a proper or something. Yeah, I guess. But so. x is not projective or proper, only over S, and S is fi. Right. So that, that is a difference between these situations. And uh, it's not true, that I guess that's that. Not, so if you have a section and no, you intersect, if you have a section and you intersect the section with a special fiber, you yeah. have to get intersection number one. Right? But the special yes. fiber. Oh, that's, yeah. good point. that's a good point. Yeah. So that's why, why you need this condition. So the, the, the D's for which you do this, they must yeah. be proper itself. Themselves. Right. And so for a section, it will, well, that's also proper, but not in the right way. Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> <have support. laughs> okay. Right, okay, so I very intuitively assume that the intersection we did in the structure of PLR is the same as what I know from service. But, but um, there is a simple, yeah, I think. Uh, yeah. Well, the thing is that in some sense it's the same, but what it's giving you is it's giving you, rather than a number, you should think of the intersection of the zero cycle on your surface S. But then there's no reasonable way, because it's not proper for a field, there's no reasonable way to turn a zero cycle into a number. Like when you're doing the surface of a field, you push a zero cycle down mm -hmm. to a point and then that's a number. Mm -hmm. But if you push it down to a zero cycle on a DDR, then every zero cycle on a DDR is trivial. So, right. so we have to somehow restrict looking at things supported on the special fiber or... I think what you usually see is that the theory is stated with one device in the special fiber. Yeah. The other yeah. one in general. Right. And things like that. Okay. This is how you use it. So what I should have done was actually define it wow. and not think, oh, it's the same as what I know. No, I mean, it's um, almost the same, but it's Well, well on your but surface, you would say that you take the line below attached to C2 and you restrict it to C1 and you yeah. take its degree. Yes. And this works also on X as long as C1 is proper over the Body. You need a oh, okay. residue field. Right. If, if, yeah, right. if so C1 moves over the residue field. So you're saying you can't do it on all the divisors. Yeah. You have to yeah. restrict yeah. to. Yeah. Okay. Because if your divisor is just a section and you have a line one line, what is this? what's the degree of a line one on a DDR? Every yeah. line one yeah. on a DDR is trivial. Okay, sure. So that's not helpful. Mm -hmm. But if your curve is proper over a field, then the line one has a degree and that's the number that you yeah. see. Okay. okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to one fix this now. Check for your definitions of the numbers over there. Is it xk the sum of di times xi? Sorry, where? Then here? Yeah. So does that then I guess you should have di's in front. No, no, I keep the same I keep the same d. No, yeah, but you're saying you rewrite xk as 
as a as a uh, as a 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 as this is how you could define the DI. Yeah. I think this is more. <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe even. It should be the DI. Well, yeah. So as I, as I yeah. said, we're yeah. going to. Yeah, this is correct. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, then maybe I did confuse my DIs and EIs, and it will be one big mess. Um, because the point, the point would be that this number is divisible by EI, which now it's clearly, which now it's not clear. It is, because is it? Uh, yeah, it's, the, it's the intersection of D times XI that is yes. divisible by, because that, that right. okay. so counts that's a dimension okay. that's, that's, of something. Okay. Yeah, I, th yeah. I thought with the modification of putting the DI there, oh. I should have said something like that. But this is divisible by yes. EI. It comes, it, yes. Because it is a dimension over an inseparable field extension of, yeah, mm -hmm. of the residue field. Uh, well, yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. Um, so the proof I had in mind for, for this statement is saying, well, well this, this follows from that. Um, and the, this being the class being zero is because it's the, the zero locus of the uniformizer, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, anyway, some of these properties we'll we'll actually use. Um, so I want to I want to give you a theorem about this. Uh, component group, and for that I have to recall uh, some 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 stuff from uh, Peter's lecture, um, and so what what we have, and now I have terrible notation because we. Uh, D is the group, so here was just a divisor. Here's the group of Cartier divisors on X with support in XK. So this D is an element of that D. Try not to use the letter D anymore for supervisors. Um, and then we can we can have a map from D to um, Z to the R um, by if we take an element there, or maybe rather it's uh, it's it's a class in the Picard. Um, then we can map that by map that to this this intersection. Um, okay, and I, I guess I did that from the beginning, right? Yes, I I didn't say this is a set of R elements. I really called them one or two R. I guess we'll repeat that first. Um, and then we have a map alpha from z to the r to z to the r, um, which has a matrix given by um, x i x j i i j and a map beta um, sending a tuple to 
there are some, but not just this sum, but they're weighted by um, these delta elements. And then in Baker's lecture, we saw that there is a complex um, this. And well, it need not be exact there, it is exact there, but there. Um, and the, the theorem says something about um, what happens around that ZR. Um, so we're as in the setup, and uh, R needs to be strictly Hanselian for this. And then we assume either one uh, that x over s admits a section, or two that k is algebraically closed. Recall that strictly Hanselian means that little k is separably closed, so now we assume a bit more. Um, then this group of components is isomorphic to the kernel beta modulo the image of alpha. And moreover, this is uh, some, there is some canonical map. Now this looks very much like a theorem, not like a lemma that Bayer stated, um, but there is a, a small difference. The assumptions are in here, and it says this is the surjection. Um, and if you already know that, then it's still a surprising amount of work uh, to prove that this is actually really an isomorphism. I won't do that completely, but I'll give a very, I'll give a brief uh, sketch of the proof. So, in case one, um, if x over s admits a section, then um, uh, we already, as someone already remarked, that then there is an i where the delta i has to be 1. And there were two main theorems in Bayes' lecture, and one of them had a condition that the um, GCD of all the delta i needs to be 1. Well, that's clearly satisfied now. Um, so then we know, uh, hence, This is surjective, and um, by the same lemma that Peter did that really resembled this, um, that lemma said a bit more. It said if this map happens to be uh, surjective, um, then you get an isomorphism. So then we're done. Um, in the second case. It, it turns out to be really difficult to prove that this is surjective. Um, so, case two. Um, so, first step is to prove that in Painter's notation, um, this is surjective. So the brackets here are compared, so this is not the same as that. And then the second step is to use a lemma um, which says um, 